Hey, what's up? It's Ross James here via LessonFace.com, and I've got a fun little pentatonic scale tutorial for you today. We're going to be looking at uh, a 12 bar blues in the key of E, and I've got a fun little technique that's going to take our minor pentatonic and our major pentatonic. You're going to play the minor pentatonic in two positions, uh, at the first octave and the second octave, and just using these three positions of this one five note scale shape, we're going to be able to cover a lot of ground. And it's, it's a fun exercise no matter what your skill level is, and it's also a fun way to kind of break up some of the monotony if you feel like you're playing and, and you're kind of stuck in a rut with your playing. So uh, for a long time, maybe like 15 years, all I knew as far as soloing is concerned is if I, I knew my pentatonic scale and if I started playing it on the root note, it would give me a blues, rock and roll, sort of minor kind of feel to it. And if I went down three frets, it would sound like country music. And that's all I knew. I didn't know any of the why behind it. I didn't know any of my theory really yet. But I got, I got by with that and faked my way through a lot of stuff only knowing that. So um, you can do a lot with the pentatonic scale. And there's a reason why it's the main thing or one of the first things that people learn when they're starting out. Um, so today we're going to take a look at uh, our, our, I was saying, the key of E. So we've got our uh, open position, E minor pentatonic. Right? We've got our next octave in the same position. We're only going to be looking at that same shape this whole time. So there's that second octave of the minor. And then, like I said, all that I knew is if I went one, two, three, it would sound like country. And that's where our major pentatonic lies. And if we play that same shape, starting three frets down, which is actually the minor six of the key that we're in, it's a C sharp. So we're gonna go. So those are our three positions. That's it, that's all we're gonna use. And we're gonna solo over 12 bar blues in E. And the idea here, what we're going to do is every time that the chords change, we're going, to move, we're going to shift. So I'm going to start out playing in E major, right, for four bars of E. Then when we go to the four chord for two bars, I'm going to slide up to this E minor position, okay? When we go back to the, to the one for two bars, I'm going back to the major. When we go to the five, I'm headed all the way down here to the minor position down here. And then for that last one chord, two bars of E, back to major. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna go major, minor, major, minor, major. Then, when the cycle starts over, we're gonna flip it. So we're gonna go minor, major, minor, major, minor. So we're gonna be able to play over every chord, every part of the song, using both the major and the minor. And it's gonna give us a, a totally different feel. It's gonna inspire us to play differently. And it's gonna accomplish basically using the Mixolydian mode, which we'll talk about in a little second. But I wanna give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. So minor. So you see how effective that is and how, you know, interesting it feels even though I'm only using the pentatonic. It doesn't sound like I'm only using the major pentatonic. It doesn't sound like I'm only using the minor pentatonic because I'm actually playing eight different notes. It's sort of like an eight note scale, all right? So if we look at the five notes that make up our minor pentatonic, we have E, G, A, B, and D, right? And then the five notes that make up our E major pentatonic we have E, 
F sharp, G sharp, B, and C sharp, okay? So five notes, five notes, 10 notes, right? Well, uh, there are two notes that are in both scales. There's E and a B, which are in both of these scales, so that gives us eight notes. Now, if we look at these eight notes, we'll see that we do have the minor third and the major third, which makes sense because we're talking about the minor pentatonic and the major pentatonic. And those are the notes that give us the characteristic of being minor or major. So the minor third is G, the major third is G sharp. If you just keep the major third and get rid of that minor third, right there we have the mixolydian mode, which in, in if we were just going to pick one mode, for this, that would probably be the mode that we would use because this is a sort of an E7 blues and we have that flat seven. Now, I, I like to use this, this idea when it, before I've started working with people and studying the modes and we've only worked with the pentatonic because it really opens the door for, for covering that sonic space, you know, that you would with a mode with like the mixolydian mode, but we're only using the pentatonic scale. We just kind of have this trick up our sleeve here. I also love t talking about this or teaching this to students who, you know, have studied the modes and everything because it's nice to kind of simplify stuff. And, and I mean, ever since I've started teaching this, this idea or this technique to people, I love doing this as an exercise just for myself. I kind of get lost doing it and it's a lot of fun. And I've applied it to my own playing quite a bit. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a really effective way to take something that 90% of guitar players know and expand what we can do with it. All right? I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on uh, the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic and using it as a shortcut to accomplish some of the things we can with the Mixolydian mode. Thanks to Lesson Face for being such a great platform. And if you're interested in taking some one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, you can go over to LessonFace.com slash Ross James. Take care, everybody. See you soon.